In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the navigation bar buttons layout versus the swipe gestures layout on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. First, tap on the home button to return back to the home screen. Now, when you want to change your navigation bar style, all you have to do is swipe down at the top to open up quick settings. In here, tap on the settings icon. Next, we scroll down and then tap on display. Then scroll down and in here, tap on navigation bar. So at the top here, you can choose buttons or swipe gestures. So first I'm going to select buttons. When you select buttons, you have three buttons at the bottom here in the navigation bar. You got the recent key. If you tap on it, that will open up the recent screen. You get the home button, tap on the home button, will take you back to the home screen. And the back button will allow you to uh, go back to the previous page. So here you can see uh, I'm now deep within my submenu. So if I tap on the back key, I can go back to the previous menu item. And that's it, so that is the back button. And here, if I tap on the recent key, that will open up the recent screen. In the recent screen, I can uh, close up, I can switch between apps, and I can open apps in split screen view, open in pop up view, and I can tap on keep open, and that will lock the app and make it keep open. All right, so we can now go back into settings, and in settings, I'm going to switch my navigation bar to swipe gestures. So we go down and tap on display and then scroll down and tap on navigation bar. Next, I'm going to select swipe gestures. Now, when you select swipe gestures, again, you can go back to the home screen by using swipe action. So here I can swipe up. And if I swipe up and hold it, that will open up the recent screen. If I swipe up, swipe up and quickly let go, that will take me back to the home screen. So when I swipe up and hold, that will open up the recent screen. From here, I can switch between apps or I can open up an app in pop-up view or split screen view. And if I want to go back, I just have to swipe in on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. So swipe in uh, both on either side and that will allow you to go back. So here, if I go into my settings and if I want to swipe back to the, go back to the previous screen, I just need to swipe in like that on this side and the both allow me to go back to the previous screen. And that's it. And that is the swipe uh, gestures. So now uh, if I want to quickly switch uh, between apps, I can also swipe at the bottom here. This will allow me to go back and forth between apps. Okay, so I'm going to go into settings. Sorry, so I'm just gonna swipe over and then open settings. Then we go down to display. And in display, I'll go into navigation bar. And if you tap on more options, you can choose what you can do with the swipe gestures. So block gestures with S Pen, gesture, sensitivity, and I'm gonna go back. So I'm just see if there are other options uh, for swipe gestures as well. So when we go down, you got uh, assistant app. So if I choose button, uh, assistant app still available. So either buttons or swipe gestures, uh, both of these options are available for you to use. So you got the circle to search function and you got the assistant app. So, so it says here, swipe inward from one of the bottom corners to open the, your digital assistant. So at the bottom here, when we swipe in, that will open up Google Assistant. So either on the left hand side or on the right hand side, that will open up Google Assistant. And that's it. So that is the differences between your buttons and the swipe gestures navigation bar on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for my videos.